Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Double D, coming at you for another quickie review. What do we got? A toy to see for you. How about hitting that like button down there? Huh? 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 Share. Maybe some of your friends want to watch. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? High five. Anyways, today's figure is Boom Avalanche. Pretty basic villain. You know, like the old... Okay, it's called Marvel's Avalanche. They must have lost the copyright again. See, it was only five ninety nine at Ross. Thank you, Ross, for being what's basically keeping this channel in figures. And I like it. I like these sort of characters that are, you know, lesser known from back in the day. Marvel's Avalanche. Brotherhood of Mutant... A veteran Avalanche can generate powerful seismic waves from his hands. Yeah, that's why he's called Avalanche. We go up here at the other ones. None of these were at Ross. I really, really, really want that Logan Wolverine. I love that uniform, the training uniform for X-Men. Beautiful. Or a couple multiple mans. I mean, I have no interest in Dark Phoenix or Longshot or Spiral. Maybe Spiral. No, her arms are too thin. But, you know, the rest, pretty dang cool. And, yeah, it's a big figure. Beefy figure. It's a big, beefy figure. What do you say we get them out and take a look at them? Yeah. Because of the way they put these in here. It does. I've never seen one of these stolen from Walmart. And the box ones, you always find empty boxes all over the place. Really freaking embarrassing. But, you know, whatever. Now, he does come with a pair of separate hands, which I will not take out because David loses. And... The figure itself, though, ooh, that is. That's got some weight to it. I like it when they like that. Not to mention, if you're a customizer, it's a good basic superhero body. I pop that head off pretty easy. Yeah, probably. I'm not going to try because I don't want to. Heck, you could probably even turn it, paint it up to a weird version of Magneto. Got the big beefy boots. It's like Captain America legs to me, but, you know. He has the basic Marvel Legends body build. I'm not going to bore you with that. And the, well, it's kind of pretty much basic. You know what the head would be really cool for, though? If anybody knew how to, I'm not good enough customizer to do this myself. But Shaq's Steel. You know when he made that movie that's kind of embarrassing to remember? I have it on DVD somewhere. It, um, that head looks almost just like the Steel head from that movie. You'd have to change, of course, the face. But the helmet, that looks just like the helmet. Anywho, I like this figure. It's a basic character. One for the wall. Really don't have nothing I can say about it, though, because it's a basic figure. It has the basic color schemes. They're all clean. Hands are clean. Silver looks like a separate piece. No, that might be the same piece. But I'm pretty sure the neck piece is separate from the main body piece there. It does have an ab crunch, of course. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Sorry. Anyways, it's a good background villain. Well made, hefty. It does have weight to it. And definitely good for anybody's collection. Especially if you get it at Ross with such a nice price. As I said, I wish I would have found the Wolverine. I would have freaking popped my cork over that. But still, you find what you can find. And Avalanche is definitely a cool one. What if they made a Pyro? I would love to get all the basic old mutants. Um, what's the word I want? 
Brotherhood of Evil Mutant characters. Except the Blob. I never liked him. But still, I like it. Also, if you were, again, good at customizing, you'd make a good part of the Wrecking Crew. With that, I say thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. This was truly was a quickie review. And... Quick review. And I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And yeah. Who's your favorite little remembered villain? I mean, I know Avalanche is more remembered than I'm saying, but there's still some. Still some from the 80, late 80s, early 90s that most people don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. With that, I tell you good night and double D out. Please like, share, and subscribe in case I forgot to say that. Go with you out.